Hello good people! We have another exciting video for you guys today, as always, and with the imminent release of Mavericks, I figured I would cover some of the newer features that this OS brings to the table, starting off with iBooks. So let's start off by opening up iBooks, and right now it's just kind of displaying my library of books, but we're not going to get into that right now. First we're going to take a look at the store, and the store is a very classic Apple Store interface, and we have a couple tabs at the top, so we have Top Charts, which is just going to show the top paid books and the top free books, we have a New York Times tab, which is going to show the New York Times bestsellers list. We have categories, so, you know, arts, education, cooking, computers, comics, science fiction, novels, mysteries, all going to be under categories. There's also a top author section, so if I click on that, it'll just give me an extensive list of all the top authors on the iBook store. And I could just click on one, let's say F. Scott Fitzgerald. And then I could view all the books that Fitzgerald here has to offer. So now we can go back to our library. And in our library, the opening tab is just all the books. But we can, of course, organize that like we can with iTunes Music. So if we look at our collections tab, we can organize this by books or view our PDFs. We can do authors. So, you know, NBC Universal, what do they have? Oh, this thing. We can do it by category. So, again, the genre. And then we have a list, which will give us a list of all of our books. But it's also, um kind of glitching right now. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or this is how Apple intends it to be, but it displays all of the music that you have in the cloud. So I'm not sure if there's something in the coding that makes iBooks think that all cloud media can be played through iBooks, um, but for whatever reason, it displays your music in the cloud as well. So now let's look at the interface that a book has to offer. So if we just click on this Leonardo da Vinci book, it'll replace that library interface with this book interface, and it always starts us off on this thumbnail slide. So if I needed to quickly jump to a specific thumbnail, I could do that right here by scrolling through them. But let's just say we're going to start on page two. So we're at page two, we're scrolling through. I can use my keys, I can use my trackpad, I can use my mouse to get through these. And let's say I come to a page that I want to remember later. I can just click this bookmark icon at the top right, and I'll add this page to my bookmarks. I'm um, going through a couple more. Let's bookmark this one. And now let's say I wanted to uh, jump back to a previous bookmark, but I couldn't remember what page it was on. I can click this drop down arrow and view my bookmarks and see that, oh yeah, it was page seven. So I can jump to page seven and then we'll place this back here. And now I can continue reading or look it back at whatever I needed to. One of my favorite features of iBooks is its incorporation of study methods. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So let's jump to a chapter, let's jump to chapter 1.3, his painting. And let's say I'm scrolling through and I see something I want to highlight, something I want to make a note of. I can just highlight it, uh, select a color, and then I can add a note. So let's say, uh, let's say there was a year associated with this. Obviously this isn't the real year associated with this, but for all intents and purposes, it is. So now let's say we're scrolling along, we see something else we like. I'm going to highlight it, give it a color. Okay, now once I've done that, I can uh, jump into study mode. So I can click this study icon and it'll extend the interface and it'll show me all the notes that I've made so far. So I can just quickly view th through my notes and let's say I wanted to quiz myself on these notes. I could click the study button and it'll give me flashcards. So this was something that I highlighted earlier. This was the first thing and I need to remember, hmm, what year did this happen in? I think it was 800 BC. I can click flip card. Oh yeah, it was 800 BC, awesome. So that's a brief showcase of the iBooks app, which will be released with Mavericks later this month. But that's going to be the video I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, feel free to follow me on Twitter. There will be a link down in the description for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.